Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to start a Django project and create a Django app. So I hope you have installed the Django, um, Django itself in a virtual environment through the command pip and install Django and then go ahead and activate this virtual environment through the command pip and shell now what we're going to do first is first we are going to uh, create our um, um, a, a new Django project so I'm, I'm gonna say Django dash admin start project now what do I want the name of the project to be I want it to be book lip i'm just going to hit enter and we are going to wait for it now it has created a project for us a django project and in here we can see that we have this booklet folder or upper directory within there we have another booklet and then we have the manage.py which is which we are going to use to be able to run our server now uh, within this book lab again we have our init.py which, which only serves the purpose of making this directory a python package asgi wsgi we use them for deployment the settings file is going to contain all these settings for our application for our django project all the apps are going to be installed in here and in case you're wondering i'm using a different th uh, theme and it is called bearded theme monoke metallion I do like to change up the um, appearance on my VS Code from time to time just to make sure it stays a little bit more interesting. And then we have the urls.py file where we are going to provide our URLs and these URLs will be mapped to their specific view functions uh, where uh, those view functions, they have the responsibility or the job of displaying um, data to our web page in the browser. So first things first, let's go ahead and let's select our virtual environment. This is Python 3.9.5. Initially, uh, for this course, it was 3.9.1. Then we moved on to 3.9.2, and now we are at 3.9.5. This just goes to show you that uh, as soon as new uh, versions for Python they're going to be released. I'm just going to update this course with those new features and those new uh, versions of Python. So I'm just going to select that. There we go. So that is selected as well. Now we have created uh, the booklib project. Now let's go ahead and let's cd into the booklib file uh directory, sorry. And from there we are going to grab. So now we are within this booklib file. Uh, directory. I'm going to grab this manage.py and we are going to run our server. So python manage.py run server. Now ideally or by default, uh, by default not ideally, the Django uh, server is going to uh, listen on port 8000. We could change that uh, from 8000 to anything we want. So I'm just going to change it to 3333. And when I hit enter Let's wait for it to run the server. Now, we do get an, uh, a red message that says you have 18 unapplied migrations. We have talked in depth about what migrations are. We are going to cover them later. We are going to apply our migrations in, in, the next, uh, in the next couple of lectures. So let's go ahead and let's fire up our web page. And there we go. So this is an empty Django project that says the install work successfully. So uh, next up, what I would like to do is I would like to create our application as well, our app as well. So I'm going to stop the server and let's say python manage.py start app library. And now you can provide any kind of name that you want for this app, for this Django app. And now as opposed to our previous uh, Django full stack project, we had a meeting app and a website app but in this Django project we are just going to have a library app and when we start it there we go it just created that and when you create that project it's going to create that db.sqli3 as well so this is going to be our app and all the migrations are going to be within this migrations folder so with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one